Hello guys. Uh, today I want to show you how to tune a guitar. Okay, so to tune a guitar without any uh, device, tuning device. So that is very important for a guitarist or for any musician. Okay, so to tune the guitar, first you have to take the first string okay take this first string as your uh, guideline so you can tune with any key but uh, usually we tune this as a standard tuning with the E so right now I don't have any device so I don't know exactly what is the E so I assume that E is this pitch okay so first uh, you have to tune this first string E as your intended uh, pitch so just put let's just assume this as an E Okay, standard E, it may not be standard E right now because I don't use any, uh, I don't have the perfect pitch. Anyway, so, so first you have to tune this and then the second string you have to tune based on the first string. So the first string open, the pitch of the first string open and the pitch of the second string fifth one two three four five fifth fret has to be exactly same so all right so this is lower now so i have to tune the second string now because the first string is already already tuned so we cannot touch the first string now So to know this, you have to train your ear. Uh, it is, you know, to know the difference between pitch pitches, like whether it's low or high or unison. Meaning is the same. So since this is lower, I have to tighten up this string. together in these two strings exactly the same so you should be able to identify whether the pitch is correct or not so if you cannot uh, get that level so you still have to train your ear whether the, you know the pitch is same or which one is higher or which one is lower so first you have to know that otherwise you won't be able to tune it The second string is tuned. Okay, the open string of the second string sounds like this. Okay, so these two strings are tuned now. All right, now the third string we have to tune the third string. So to tune the third string, okay. Uh, you have to press at the fourth fret so fret number four of the third string and compare with the open string of second string so it's it's not same now it has to be the same all right so i have to now this is lower 
so that means I have to tighten up the third string all right by the way so the most of the acoustic guitars have the keys three keys below and three keys up okay so the below keys okay the key which are here down here one you have to tighten you have to or uh, tighten in the the right direction so like this okay so this way not the other way so this way this way you have to move it okay like this so that is tightening up so that is the right way to fix the uh, the strings because uh, those who don't know how to fix the strings sometimes they fix the, uh, the first one the right way and the second one in the other way so these three keys all the keys they have to tune in the the same direction okay so that is very important keep in mind all right now the third string so third string so i have to tighten it up is tuned now all right so the three strings are tuned now the, the lower keys so it sounds like this I have memorized these tunes actually but uh, I wanted to show you how to do it so without pressing it here I can do it now but that takes time okay so those pitch have uh, you know you have register in your mind so that you can remember the exact pitch all right so now we have to tune the fourth string that is not tuned so the fourth string you have to press at fifth fret again only the third string you have to press at fourth fret the rest of the strings are at fifth okay fourth now you have to compare the third string open all right so this is lower that means I have to tighten up okay now this is reverse direction of the lower one to tighten it so I have to go this the other way like this left side okay tighten it up These two are same now. Now. The fifth string. Okay. So we got it now. So these two are same again. So that means the fifth string is also tuned. Then now the sixth string. Okay, the sixth string you have to tune it the open string of fifth string. Compare with the fifth string open. Oh, this is much lower, so you have to tighten it up. Okay, remember the the upper keys are tightened, tightening like left hand side. Okay, in the left hand direction. Okay, 
Now let's check one by one again. Here's the first string. Now second string. Oh. Okay. Third string. Good. And fourth string. Oh. Okay, you have to tighten it up again a little bit. Now it's correct. Alright. Yes. Okay. So since guitar is a string instrument uh, when we tune we have to be careful uh, for example if it's a new string so you have to check it again and again again and again sorry so because the it has to be tightened it properly first otherwise the tuning will be dropped again after some time so you can shake it like this pull it a little bit but don't pull it too hard because it's already tightened up so it might break it all right so that is how uh, we have to tune the guitar without any uh, device all right so to know exactly how it is tuned into like a standard tuning so that you need another uh, instrument which is already tuned or you need a device which can tell you or which can indicate you how it is tuned or not all right so but first try to tune without any device so you can tune with any key or any uh, frequency so okay so you should be able to tune your guitar so in any circumstance or wherever you are so sometimes the devices may not be available so it's very important that you should be able to tune your own instrument all right so that's for today and uh, I I will repeat once more. Uh, I'll tune it down now. Then. Okay, so I hope you remember what uh, we just did. So, tuning the string first, you keep the first string into a certain uh, pitch where you, you want to tune it okay so sometimes you have to be careful like you should not excess uh, more than how it should be otherwise you will break the new string okay so let's keep it here all right so I'm gonna show you now another system of tuning that is quite easy the thing is you have to memorize this uh, these pitches first okay so I will take this as do okay so do do all right so this is do then the next the next string has to be a lower so do so all right do so 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 my intended pitch is so so until i get that so so pitch i have to tune up this one oh we are almost there so do do so Okay, so 
do so now the second string is tune all right so do so okay do so the third string is uh okay uh we can do like this so the second string now take as me 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 okay me do it has to be do me do oh sorry tune string take as a do 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 okay it's a little bit lower so we will sing as a higher octave do then this the next string the fourth string has to be so do so string is tuned now now the fifth string you have to tune the fifth string so the fifth string is a uh, another lower so of the fourth string so take the fourth string as do again do so do 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 So, 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 do, so, do, so, good. Now the fifth string is tuned. Now the fifth string take as do again. Do, then the lower, so, do, do ti la so so e is a so of a do ti la so so that because uh, I know the tonic sulfur how the tonic sulfur works because uh, the standard tuning of this is E B G D A E I repeat E B G D A E that means E is okay so you can take like this e as do do okay and b is a so of e which is the fifth note or the fourth down okay the fifth up or the fourth down which is known as so in tonic sulfur so do, so, do, so. right do, so okay so now these two are done now we, we we want to tune these two since the second string is already tuned we have to tune the, f the, the third string so so B the third the second string is B so then the third string has to be G and uh, B is a uh, the third the major third of G 
That's why we, we have to take the B as a me. So the major third is me in tonic solfa. Me. <coughs> Sorry. Me. Right? Me. Do. Yeah. Me. Do. All right? So now you got the third string correct. Now, another thing is now since you have tuned the third string, you have to concern about the fourth string. So, the fourth string has to be D. So, the third string, since the third string is G, D is the fifth of G again. That means, so of G is D. That's right. You have to take the third string as Do again. Do, so, lower so, it has to be lower so not the upper so do so do so okay do so correct now the fourth string is d correct now d okay the fifth string has to be a that means a is the fifth of d again so take d as do and A has to be so. Do so. Do so. Okay. So you got A now. Now A is uh, take A as one, which is do. One do do. Okay. Now E the sixth string has to be E. E is the fifth of A. That's why we are calling A as Do. Do, So. Okay? Do, So. Alright. Now, we got the strings tune. Alright? So, let's see how it sounds. This guitar is tuned. Okay, so I just tune it without any device. All right. So this will take time, but you you can practice it. Okay. So when I started learning guitar to tune like this in the 90s, so we didn't have any device. So I used to break strings. So you might break strings but don't worry and uh, try to tune it so the best way how to tune it is you tune the first string uh, with uh, a standard tuning E then from there you try to tune train yourself and uh, there will be some errors then you can check again with a, a tuning device whether it's correct or not but try to tune without any device okay so that is the best way first because without any device you should know whether your guitar is tuned or not so because if your guitar is not tuned whatever you play is not correct and it sounds horrible all right so the first thing is tune your instrument properly all right Thank you so much.